Today, I wanna to share with you guys a third-party tool that I use for managing hundreds of YouTube subscriptions and making sure that I never miss a video from the people that I want to follow. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and today I wanna to give you guys a really quick tip. Did you know that you can use RSS readers to subscribe to YouTube channels? If you don't know what RSS is, don't worry about it, you don't really need to know, but if you do know what that is, all YouTube channels have an RSS feed built into them that lets you subscribe to YouTube channels to see all the most recent video posts using a third-party tool. I use a tool called Feedly.com because I can manage my YouTube subscriptions far easier, I can categorize them, I can have different displays. Let me show you guys how I do this using Feedly, but you can also do some of this right on YouTube. We talked about this a few weeks ago. There's a link in the description below if you wanna go check out that video about how to create collections and manage your YouTube subscriptions right here on YouTube, but I kinda like Feedly for a couple reasons. Let me show you what I mean. The cool thing about using Feedly.com is that you can subscribe to other things besides YouTube channels, your newspapers, magazines, blogs, websites, pretty much anything that has an RSS feed that they update, you can just pop right into here and keep up with. So the first thing you're gonna do, if this is your first time here, click on Login, and you can log in either with your Google account, Facebook, Twitter, Evernote, whatever you want, and just click one of those through the process and create your account. Once you're logged in and you have some subscriptions, you'll see kind of an overview of some recent content here over here on the left side. These are the different categories I've set up personally uh, for organizing my content. Let me get into that in a second. Let me go to add new content. I'm just gonna come here. I'm going to paste in my YouTube channel and I am going to come up here and subscribe to that. So basically what I'm seeing now is a list of all my most recent videos in reverse, chron reverse chronological order with the most recent video on top. So there's a couple ways I can organize it. Go title only, which is the way I prefer because I think it makes for easy skimming, far easier than YouTube. Um, magazine, if I want to see some thumbnails and stuff. I can go to cards if I want to see them a little bit bigger. Uh, I can come here to full articles if I just kind of want to see a big overview. So a lot of different ways of organizing this. I'm going to go back to title only because this is the, the format I prefer. So to subscribe to this YouTube channel, to this RSS feed, you can click on this green Feedly button at the top. I'm going to call it Video Creators. You can make it a must read if you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to a new collection called YouTube Channels, which is a kind of a new category. Come down here, click Add. And now I've created this YouTube channels and the, the ones in gray are ones that I've already watched or looked at. The ones in bold are still new. I haven't looked at those yet. So if I'm like, oh, I don't wanna look at them, I can click this check mark right here and mark them all as red. Uh, or I can go over here, have a couple more options. I only want to see unread um, videos, you know, so things I haven't watched yet. So now it's only showing the bold ones. So you have a lot of different um, uh, different options there for how you organize this content. One of the cool things about this too is that if you, you're you scrolling through your feed, you're like, oh man, I really wanna see why this video, about why Facebook video views are misleading. I don't have time to do it now. What I do is I just bookmark it. Click this little green thing right there, it's bookmarked. I've saved it for later. And now when I have more time, I can just go up here to the saved for later. And here's all in reverse chronological order again, the most recent at the top. And now I can go through all the articles that I saved that I do wanna read or, or watch or whatever the case may be but just don't have time to do it now. Uh, sometimes I'll flag them, you know, on my phone and then I'll, you know, and then when I get back to my desktop, uh, I'll come and, uh, and catch up with them here. So it will sync across devices if you use their mobile apps too. The other nice thing about using this method for subscribing to channels is that like on YouTube, you know, you can only scroll back so far, right? In your most recent subscriptions and videos, and then it just kind of cuts off. But you're like, man, I haven't been in my subscriptions for like a month and I really don't want to miss anything from this channel. Or I actually want to see every video, you know, using something like Feedly, it lets you keep up with every video that these channels are posting and easily keep it organized. Even if it's been like four months since you've logged in and checked your subscriptions, you will probably have, for me, a couple hundred videos that you could all go through right there. I'd love to hear from any of you in the comments below who are using an RSS reader to subscribe to YouTube channels. What tips and tricks do you have for managing a large subscription library? And I know there's a lot of other tools out there besides Feedly that do this exact same thing. This is the one I use. Have you found a better one? Comment down there below. I'm really looking forward to learning from you guys. And if it's something you're thinking about too, definitely learn from everyone else down there in the comments as well. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe here at 
video creators, I am all about giving you guys news, tips, ideas, updates, everything I can to help you guys grow your YouTube channels and your audiences here as YouTube creators so that your message spreads here on YouTube and the people who need to hear what you have to say can find you, become a part of your YouTube channel's community, and hopefully have their lives be changed as a result. So thank you for letting me be a small part of that. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.